right so what is going on today youtube i am back from the pasadena regionals of this past weekend and my god folks we've got some uh things to talk about today so um as you guys know that uh you recently i've been playing like zombie stun and that's what you're seeing on the video right now recently i've been playing zombie stun so i said you know what let me take this to a regionals because um yeah this was you know this is you know let, let me just try it out in person i've been playing it online for a couple of minutes i do like it um but let's try it out in real life let's see what we actually can do with this deck and that's what we did we took it to the dina regionals past the dina regionals um this past weekend and i'm gonna tell you guys pretty much how that went so without further ado let's go ahead and get into that but first and foremost um if you guys do enjoy this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button and also if you guys can uh click and add to help support the channel or donate to the channel using the links down below it does very helpful and i appreciate all the support that you guys give me and yeah man so let's hop straight in it too so uh, we get there and everything's cool it is raining um and i decided to take uh socks and uh slippers because i didn't think it was going to be raining raining like that and then I definitely didn't expect it to be raining that early. I kind of looked and it said it was like it said it was going to rain. But, you know, I thought it was going to be like, you know, a little soft drizzle, you know, and stuff like that. It was it, it, it wasn't too bad, but it was a lot of puddles. And yeah, I, that was definitely already bad. So that started my day off bad. And then the place that we always go to when we go to Pasadena that we discovered, I believe, a year ago, maybe two years ago, we discovered it, I believe, last year. And it's uh, my God, man, the, the best the best bread you can get and it's called oh my pan man it was right down the street and the strawberry kiwi uh things that they had uh, drinks that they had my god i was waiting all my life for it man i was waiting my whole goddamn life to to, to um to uh, go ahead and take a sip on one of those and we so you know we get there we already wrote out our deck list and shit like that and so you know we walk right on over there and you know i'm walking through the puddles and shit but i'm like you know what this is all worth it it is all worth it if I'm able to get my sweet kiwi strawberry and my bomb ass Asian bread so I can connect with my homeland, you know, and I can just just feel good about myself and I can start the day off right. So we're walking. I'm walking through the puzzles. I'm over here with uh, fucking with pneumonia and I'm over here socks drenched because there's puddles everywhere and we get to the place, man. So I'm happy. My eyes lit up and I look up and I see the damn sign on the thing and it says Miss Cheese Tea. And folks, you don't understand how upset I was. And then they have the audacity to open up at 11 o'clock. Folks, I was so goddamn mad. I Not only do I have to walk back now, I got pneumonia and my place, they fucking bought out my place, man. They bought out the best goddamn, uh, uh, the, the best bread you can, um, and now it's only one open. It's only one open in San Gabriel. And that's, it's not far from where I live, but goddamn, like I was ready. I was waiting. So after that debacle, I was like, all right, I'm already done with the day. I mean, I already have my invite, so it, technically I don't care, but I still did want to do good. So I can, you know, show you guys that, you know, you know, I can do good when I'm, you know, when I can do good, you know, I'm able to play and stuff like that. So uh, I had my, I said, okay, well, you know what, that, that, that's one down, but we got more to play with and we can do our thing. So um it ended up turning to be about 450 people at the Pasadena region which i definitely didn't suspect my homeboy big e he said it was going to be around uh he thought it was going to be around 200 because of white chicago i thought it was going to be around three something because it's a new format new band list people want to play and stuff like that and i'm like all right so you know but 450 fuck man i did not expect that so definitely shout out to the to the dina regionals for that i mean i know they were very happy with that turnout because like i said man that was definitely a surprise and on, on top of that man if you guys have ever been to uh, pasadena regionals that place is where, where, uh, run very well the, the venue is very nice it's around a a, a a ton of places where you can get food and drinks like i said oh my pan was right there so that was even an added bonus but yeah man it's it, it's sad but yeah like i said um all that was uh everything was cool so after that we we set up and go round one and uh, i lose the die roll so i'm like okay you know and then i see hidden city so i'm like all right i'm playing sub terrors but my deck you know is is traps and stuff like that but i opened up i think about four i think about four monsters in one i think a spell or something it, it really didn't matter we're not about to explain to you what happened but yeah so i'm going up against sub terrors in my first round he's he starts for his hidden city flips uh, as the guru sets the guru flips the guru searches 
gets the fiendish, I believe, uh, and then uh, sets forward and tells me to go, right? Yeah, tell sets forward and tells me to go. I draw, okay, normal summon, activate the effect, strike. All right, set my card, he goes, I believe I said swallow slash, so he goes, you know, he does his little play. I'm like, okay, no, he then he has the he uses the subterra trap to flip it down. I'm like, all right, so he's gonna be getting a you know a couple of cards off of Guru. He's gonna be getting a bunch of stuff. So normal summon. I try to affect Valor his Guru and he strikes me again. So I'm like, all right, two strikes down. Um, next turn I have a swallow slash, and you know I, I'm able to do a bunch of stuff with that. You know I'm able to do something. So I go, I think I normal summon uh, Mizuki, and I you know I use swallow slash to pop two. Um, he lets it go through. And then, uh, no, no, I think, uh, what did he do? He did, I, I bait out the Fiendish somehow, I think. I think I, I don't know, I forgot what I used. I think I used something, or was it Twin Twister? I don't know, I used some card to try to get over his West name. I tried to get, uh, basically get around his Fiendish, and yeah, so I end up resolving, I think, a Swallow Slash, and yeah, okay, no, no, no. I end up resolving Swallow Slash, and then it was another Strike Set. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. And then, like, after that, it was just it was just nowhere. It was just nowhere for me to go. Man had three strikes on the first turn. And I'm like, okay. Game two, I go, activate, I, normal summon, uh, solitaire. He says, fine, a tribute gets a unit zombie. Activate the effect, effect veil. Like, okay, that's fine. He goes, he normal summons guru, attack, set four. I'm like, okay. You know, I'm good. Normal summon, warning. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, in my turn, he goes, he attacks again with guru. My go, uh, normal summon activate effect strike. Okay, uh, and then yeah, I was like, you know, is this is this pointless to keep playing after that? So yeah, man, I got hit probably like with ten fiendishes, and um, and probably like what was that six strikes, the uh, five strikes, and I was, I mean, five solos, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I I I just can't do anything about that. So that was that round two, um, played against Lair, um. I uh, believe, uh, what did he do? He does, do they pay 500 in that deck? They pay 500 for something. I'm looking at the life points. He paid 500 for something. And then, um, yeah, I, I ended up just beating him after that. Uh, I, I don't know. Oh, he, um, what the fuck? Something gains 500 life. No, no, wait. Is that Lair? That is Lair. All right, I don't know. What the fuck? I don't know. I ended up two on him. Uh, Eradicator is the thing. Eradicator is just broken. So, and that literally came in last night. Like the last night before I went to regional, I was thinking of three cards to side, and it was Eradicator. So that was that. That was that. Um, round three, I played against Prank Kids. Had to read all of their effects. Game one, he ends up beating me by just using all his Prank Kids and stuff like. Actually, no, no, no. That's what that's what happened. He uh, he opened. I opened up five spells and traps. Yep. Could not play, and then I drew a six. So I was like, you know what? Okay, and that said six is fine. If I draw, if I'm drawing Solitaire something, I'm able to do something. Uh, I draw another spell and trap, so I concede. Uh, game two, um, he's doing his what's the name, but like I said, I've called by the grave and shit, so I'm pretty much able to just whittle down all of his resources and basically spring into action and win from there. Game three was pretty much the same thing. He's able to go first. Um, he sets up some, uh, he sets up sun plays, and then like I have a call by the grave. I have two kaiju's, a monster born. Also has squire. Squire was so fucking fantastic. My God, all the new support was just bangingly good man squire and sunset was just fucking this those are just definitely top five um i guess if, if there was an mvp voting it was definitely top five those cards because them motherfuckers put in so much damn work it, was, it wasn't even funny um so pretty much he goes he sets he's like no he does his plays but like i said i have caught by the grave so he ends up stopping it. and then i go into uh, uh the level seven i forgot what's her name skill so i forgot her fucking name but you guys know what i'm talking about going to the level seven the new level seven oh my god man just using her effect multiple like if you can use her effect more than once you're most likely going to win the game i was just popping all of his back row and then it doesn't target so he didn't know that so he, he's chaining his cards uh he trained call by the grave on my four star my i don't I, I, I should really know these names already but yeah the, the one that draws and discards the new one like i said i'm out squire that's her name my bad <laughs> um so he banishes squire but like i said uh then i just banished the synchro itself and then popped his monster and popped his other back row I mean, it was the witch's strike set so i was already i'm like oh jesus i think i had gamma in my head or i was drawing gamma or something like that and so uh he goes and he, he set he sets his card he draws a monster set, i mean he draws a card and sets it i'm like what's going like well you don't have anything and he was like no and then 
pretty much from there he kept drawing monsters after that so yeah sadly yeah he wasn't able to really capitalize on anything um, after that and then i just end up winning from there so you know i'm 2-1 and i'm feeling good round four uh, my opponent lets me go first and um i set up the right i think i no 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 i set up i have uh i have unizombie and Sw swallow slash so he activates lost world spell summon prank and tops and uses the effect of uh what's the name prank to top so i chained uh I chain my Swallow Slash to pop Lost World and what's the name because I don't want him to resolve that fucking Ovi Raptor. And I, got, and I have Gamma in my hand. So I set it up to where, like, I'm able, I'm just going to pop off a of Gamma. And he sets the monster in his turn. And then, uh, yeah, I start summoning monsters. And just, I end up killing them from there. Uh, uh, game two, he made a huge mistake. So, no, not really a huge mistake, but he made a mistake. I, I sided in a four lane and shit. So, pretty much what happened is he went off, but he sided and he smoke screened into thunders. And what happened was that when he smoked, when he smoke screened pretty much into thunders, he was left with a dilemma. He had two level four, he had two level four dinos, a thunder, and a quadless on the field. So he's either going to make Colossus or he's going to make a Lagi or Doka. What he decided, what he ended up doing is go into Dweller, which I'm like, oh man, that actually helped me out because I have Froilin in my head. I'm able to attack over the Dweller and I have Unizombie. So I'm able to even send, like, I'm able to send, uh, I think, Juchel. Is it Juju? Yeah, I sent you Shell to the graveyard because he has his field card up. No, wait, who has his field? I think I drew Zombie World, so I have my field card up. So I'm like, all right, yeah, I'm able. Oh, I'm about to, I you know, I'm about to really get in there. So, um, pretty much, uh, that's what ended up happening. You made Dweller and then I, I drew Normal Summon, used the effect, sent you Shell, attacked, special Mephorloin, paid, uh, paid, uh, 500 life points. Uh, got over his monster in phase you know he goes do not bring back um Trichelle, and then pretty much from there he's not able to get over the zombie world because uh, yeah he wasn't able to get rid of zombie world and i had Trichelle on the board no 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 what did i do i, I, I don't know I, I didn't activate zombie world because yeah he did have quality so i think i activated banshee yeah that's what we go i activated banshee and then yeah pretty much from there he wasn't able to get over for going and neither was he able to get over the zombie world so i was able to win from there um, nice dude round five i played against burn game one he you know he does his burn stuff he summons the uh the four thousand fucking um <laughs> he summons the four thousand uh time lord and yeah he just runs rough shot all over but pretty much all over me game one and then when i finally started hitting this back row with like swallow slash he has burn cards so yeah then it's that game two eradicator game three um eradicator again so yeah that pretty much takes care of that matchup round six i played against sky strikers and this was the game, this was the game that uh, I definitely should have won game one. And it was like 35 minutes game one, 35 to 37 minutes game one. I'm not sure. It was a little time left on the clock for game two. But yeah, we we, we were going back and forth in my in penalty game. That's when penalty game came right the fuck in clutch because he was able to, he was established an advantage. And I'm like, fuck, I, I you know, I need something, I need something to stop him. And I drew penalty game. I'm like, I looked at his hand. He has three cards in his hand. I'm like. This is the card I need. If, if I can just stop him this turn, I'm able to get back into it. And sure enough, he drew a card, activate penalty game. He wasn't actually able to, uh, no, he wasn't able to activate engages or uh, multi rolls or anything like that. So he's not able to, you know, get multi rolls effect during end phase. He's not, you know, he can search whatever he wants with Kagari. I mean, not Kagari, but uh, the blue girl. You know, he wasn't able to get in. And then, so I slowly, slowly start getting back and get in. And then uh, eventually it's like, what, we're 30 minutes in. He And now I'm like, at like 25 minutes, I'm like, you know what? I should scoop so we can go to game two. Like I said, I play Eradicator. So if I Eradicator him, the game is over. And, you know, and something like that. But I'm like, you know what? I think I can win this. All three reds are in his grave or all three blues. I didn't banish two of his rays with uh, Call, of the, uh, Call of the Grave and uh, Drew Cheryl. So I'm thinking, all right, what should I do? And I also got the level seven. And she's just popping, 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 popping back rows because she doesn't target. So, um, it, long story short, I made a very, very big miss, Barry. Um, What I ended up doing was I uh, end up uh, not, like, he had Hornet Bit set. And I don't know why, but I didn't pop his Hornet Bit. Like, I could have popped it because, like I said, it doesn't target. So, I could have popped his Hornet Bit. And if I got rid of his Hornet Bit, that was his, like, the only part, only card he had left was, what's the name? Um, he was not able to do anything anything like he wasn't the only thing he had left was the field card to resolve and to get ray out but like i said um it, it I, I i most likely would have won if i would have just popped the horny bit i didn't pop the horny bit and yeah he ended up drawing ghost ogre so i had skill saga the link on the field and then i had the level seven banish and i had drew shell so at any point in time i can use uh skill saga to special summon the link i mean special summon the synchro and then trigger drew shell to banish anything he summoned 
And yeah, uh, he goal stalkered me, and I was like, oh my god! And then he able to go into the uh, to the wind guy to attack again because uh, he ended up potting back two two Kagaris and one blue girl. And yeah, he pretty much ended up winning from there. So I'm like, oh man, that was just such a big mistake. And then game two, it wasn't enough time, and he, he I I mean, evidently it didn't. I didn't even he didn't even need that much time because he, he pretty much killed me, and because he hit me with a couple of hand traps, and I like I said, I wasn't able to really play. And um, yeah, man, so that was that and then uh round seven i played against my homie brandon um he said he didn't have his first top so i, I mean it, it, it either or if i won or didn't win um he, he was I basically he was going to go away with the win because like i said um he, he didn't have his top so and then like I, I i wasn't really there to do anything so yeah i was going to give it to him regardless if i won or not but um yeah it did not matter because he fucking just fucking skunked me and it was it was the worst I, I got fucking skunked folks i mean jesus christ he was playing true draco and i got skunked so it didn't even matter what i had planned in my head he just skunked the shit out of me so it didn't, it didn't really matter but hopefully he did get his top um you know or his invite and that's what i mean to say um so yeah man that was pretty much my dean originals i had, I had pretty much fun and once again uh, not once again but uh uh i also met a dude named benito and he, oh my god I, I i i i feel bad man because he was playing and you know we were we were like conversating and stuff and he definitely should have won that game ended up going into time and he actually ended up tying um he definitely should have won that game i don't know about the other guy I didn't give it to him but he uh, he wanted me to play a certain deck list because he's a he's a i believe he's a subscriber or he's a viewer of the channel nonetheless uh at the least he's a viewer because he said he you know recognizes uh, pretty much because I was playing zombies. He's like, oh, you play zombies? He said, you got a YouTube channel? I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, man, I know you. So, yeah, he wanted me to play a deck. So, we're going to be playing that tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, man, shout out to my guy, Benito. I wanted I wanted to know how he done. He was playing Subterror Control. I mean, he was playing uh, Guru Control, too. And I'm also going to play that deck on Thursday um, because I got skunked by it. So, I need to play it again. I mean, I need to play it. So, um, yeah, I need to know how to beat the deck. And then, um, also, so that was my Dino Regional. And then the last three minutes, I want to talk about the uh ycs and stuff like that so yeah luna knights won man that is fucking crazy um and my thoughts pretty much on the ycs uh, i know this is very late late in the video you probably guys didn't even hear this part but yeah man um yeah i think mass destruction may be coming back in um definitely because um that yeah that deck um i don't it was Wesley, I, I don't know if rusty bardish is a cost to sin so if that's a cost of sin, I don't think really you can do much to stop it. But yeah, I think I think Mad Destruction has to come back in, and uh, uh, the the reason why I think that 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 deck really won is because all the Sky Strikers got taken out. Was two there was two Sky Strikers left at, um, after what? Um, it was top thirty two. It was ten Sky Strikers, and then after in top sixteen, it was only two left. And that's exactly why the Lunar Light guy won is because that is a deck that um as a thought doesn't really hurt because they're able to use uh, engage and you know they can just take a monster if they felt like it excuse me but yeah so little knight just had the perfect 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 what's the name and then that going into the as a thought combo was just busted but yeah, i think maybe dark home regeki is going to start seeing more play because um because like i said we, basically when they do that play they don't really have any hand traps or anything to back it up really well i don't know i i didn't i mean I believe that yeah i believe they really don't have anything else to back it up with because like i said they're trying to just do the you know do the combo and stuff like that and then bring an adds a thought on with no protection like you can just dark hole regeki or you know any kind of mass destruction card and just get rid of everything on his board and he's left with the 3500 uh double attacker but like i said um if you're playing sky strikers you can just widow anchor it if you're playing any other deck you can just, you know use your spells and traps and stuff to pretty much get around it so yeah man I don't know. I'll probably go into more about it uh, in another video. But yeah, that is the end of the duel that you guys see on here. And then here is the deck list. Um, as you can see, um, I did play Forbidden Chalice. And that was the only reason I played Forbidden Chalice is because I didn't I didn't feel like I had enough spells. Forbidden Chalice was pretty cool. Rivalry was not good. It wasn't good for me. Penalty game, like I said, it saved me that one game that I probably should have won. Um, because I, I just should have popped this one a bit. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I, I really thought he was going to chain it, but I was like, even if he does chain it, I'll just pop multi roll and then, you know, just get rid of the token. But like I said, I, I don't know, man. I, I was just, I don't know. I kept looking at that. I don't know what the fuck happened. I, I just, that was my fault. 100% my fault. But yeah, man, um, the deck list, I would take out uh, Forbidden Chalice. 
um like i said penalty game if i did have uh trap tricks which you guys are going to see in the next video is trap tricks and eradicator and stuff like that so yeah man um all in all man i have fun like i said the only things i would change is you know really just a couple of cards but thank you guys for watching I hope you guys did enjoy the video man like comment and subscribe like i said be back in a couple of hours so you guys can see um the updated deck list of this and um i would uh talk about rivalry and stuff i believe in the next video but besides that thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in a couple hours